Hello and welcome to a Tabletop Bellhop board game bag check. I am Mo Tuzno, the Tabletop Bellhop, your cardboard concierge, answering your gaming and game night questions and striving to make everyone's gaming experience better. Today the question I'm answering is, what's in the box in regards to this? This is a shiny new and shrink wrap copy of Walking in Burano from Renegade Game Studios. I happen to have an edition with a little sticker on here too that says mini expansion number one included. So I don't know if that's on every printing or just my printing or I got lucky. Whatever the case is, I do have an expansion for this. Now this is the first time I will be cracking open this game. Note I have not played this game before and you'll get to hear my thoughts about the components in this box as I discover them for the first time myself. Before we get to that though, let's find out a bit about this game. So this is designed by Wyman Ling with art by Ms. Shirley Chan. I'm sorry if I pronounce those names wrong. Welcome to Burano, Italy. Walking through the island, you will see these vibrant houses on both sides of the canal, as well as the personalized decorations placed by the inhabitants and shopkeepers. The local government has asked you to refurbish a street in their famed city. Use your creativity to amaze both tourists and locals with your masterpiece of design. Now, for anyone who does not know Borano, it is part of the city of Venice that is known for its very colorful painted buildings, which you can kind of see here and which we'll see more of once I open it up. Now, this is published by Aldrich Entertainment Group, plays one to four players in 20 to 40 minutes with an age limit of 14 plus, which has to be some kind of legal requirement because I don't see any reason you need to be 14 to play this game. Depending on your kids, you could probably be playing this as young as eight or so. So that's it for my thoughts before we open it. Let's crack the shrink and see what's in the box. All right, here you have my shiny new, well, not a shiny new, copy of Walking in Burano because I did just cut the shrink wrap off, so it's not quite a shiny. One thing I noticed right away when doing that, I love this. Sometimes boxes are hard to open. Look, there's notches to pull it apart. I love that. That's a nice touch. Bonus points right there for box design. All right, we got instructions right on top which we will flip through fairly quickly. Love the colorful art on the cover of this. Uh, same as the cover of the box. Looks like we've got the list of the gold. There's a nice component list. What I dig here is you're seeing fronts and backs of cards and all the different things. And the starting player token in this game is a cat. That's going to be attractive to people in the first place. There's the rules for setting up, how to set up a four-player game. There is how to play. I do dig that things are color-coded here to make things a little easier to read and Understand, there are lots of cats all over the rule book. Um, placement examples, different things called out. Text is a little smaller than I would have liked, but I'm not going to complain too much. We are looking at a total of 13 pages for the main rules, including a solo variant, something that's more and more important nowadays as more people play games at home alone. There is also an FAQ and the credits with a scoring example on the back of the book. We have a significantly thick pad. Um, I'm impressed if anyone ever goes through that. That is a lot of score pads, score sheets. Then we have a rather nice summary card. Oh, look at the shinies. Oh wait, distracted. Uh, we have a scoring card showing what the different tourists and inhabitants are looking for as they check out your city. One of the amusing things I think is hilarious in this game is that Santa Claus is one of the inhabitants of your city, and of course, he's looking for chimneys. Okay, check out the money. Can you see that? It's cardboard, but it's metallic. I love it. Obviously, extremely well punched as stuff is falling out of this as I take it out of the box. This is some, oh, that is so nice, some of the best money I've seen in a game. Like, I get not wanting to pay the cost for metal coins, but this silver coating is fantastic. I would love to see this more in more games. Big thumbs up there, AEG. Big thumbs up. All right. Next, we got little bits that fell out of the punch board. Um, we have a very interesting... Okay, so this is kind of neat. So I'm going to show this out. The box insert has for different layers of cards for two and one. And it's even sloped, so it's easy to pull cards out of. And then there's a little piece I'm going to flip up here to divide the two decks. So that's a nice bonus. A nice little touch there. And it tells you right in the middle, look at that, where to put everything. All right, this is just a cardboard two trough insert. But, like, look at that. That is a step above. Included baggies, always a bonus. Love that. 
Um, cards here, we're going to take the cards out. We do have a little silicon package pro tip. Keep these if you live anywhere where humidity is an issue. All right, this is just some of the stuff that fell out of the punch board. I'm just double checking. Yeah, nothing's actually missing from my copy of the game. But again, where it's telling you to put everything is really nice. Quick look underneath, there's nothing. We're going to put this back in because it looks great. So what we have here is uh, what I like to call hobbit size cards that are, I'd, I'd say, even smaller than half a card, half a uh, normal deck of cards. These do not have any type of quick release. So we're going to quickly see if I can just rip it apart. And look at that. Not so bad. So what we have here is one of the people who are going to visit your city. And this person is looking for plants. You're going to score one point per plant that they can see on your city block. So we have a bunch of different people who are scoring different things. Um, this is scaffolding that you're going to start in your city. It's something to kind of reserve a spot that you can move around later. It's So these are not in any great order. So we're going to go through some more people. Like the, the policeman wants evenly spaced streetlights. And we have more scaffolding. And then... Of course, the woman who loves cats. So for every cat they can see in your city block, you get three points. And these keep getting broken up and then scaffolding and then scaffolding. More scaffolding. A blank card. We have an oddly. Oh, mini expansion one, right? This includes mini expansion one. So here we have the Walking and Burano mini expansion, which I'm going to put aside until I've gone through all of this, because I do want to know what's in there. That I know nothing about. Now we should have the houses split into three decks for the basement or main floor, which is always a shop. The In the upper floors and the roof. So you have shops, then apartments, and then a roof for every building. So deck one should be all the various shops. So what happens in this game is you are building it and you have to build a building that's three stories tall that's all the same color. At the same time, you're going to look at the features and different people walking through the city are looking for different things. So this one features a ton of plants. You've got five plants just on here. So if you've got a person visiting the city with plants, you're going to want to buy this. Another thing here is the awning. And we're going to go to the, a, a couple more of these. So different type of plants with a different colored awning. Here we have a cat. One of the, the people like to see cats. Another cares how many people are walking on the street, and this one has three people on it. So I'm not going to go through every card. What I do want to point out, though, is some of these are stuck together. Is this two cards stuck together? I had one stuck a second ago, and now I'm paranoid that another one's going to be stuck. Okay, right, I think that's a single. I did have two cards stuck together, but it was right at the top. All right, we're going to consider that a non-problem. These two were a little stuck, but I don't see any damage on the cards. So various shops with various features, including cats and awnings and people and... That looks like a pizza joint. That's awesome. Oh, there's a different pizza joint. There's multiple pizza joints. Well, it is Italy. So a bunch of different shops. Then we have the second floors, which tend to have two windows. So here we have the street light. Remember the policeman's looking for street lights. They're evenly spaced. We have different potted plants. And again, we have onyx. So very similar. We have different colors. Oh, here's a cat that's jumping between two, but no plants here. Tons of plants on this one and so on. Even more, you've got plants out on the ledge and in the window all coming in various colors. I do have a slight concern for um, color blindness issues, which I don't actually know if these colors would be good or bad. Then we have finally the roofs, which again come in different colors, but some also have features. So this one has an awning, and then you'll have some with chimneys, as well as plants and cats and all more of the same thing. So we have a cat climbing into a chimney here. And that is it for the base game. Not a lot to see, so you have scoring cards, and you have building cards at three levels. It is a drafting game where you're going to spend money. You're going to draft one, two, three cards. If you only take two or three, you get some money back. Then you're going to play cards from your hand to try to build your city and attract people to your village to score points. Like this particular tourist loves everything. I have to assume that these all have to be in the same set. So you need cats and lights and, and multicolored awnings and, and chimneys and two points if you have all of them in one building and so on. I don't think these, okay, so they're just different, an image of the person on the back. So there we have it. Everything you get in Walking in Burano from Alderic Entertainment Group, AEG. We're going to toss these back. Now it tells me where to put these. So let's see if I can actually do it. So the two cards go here. 
the three cards go here. And then again, there's a little pop up here. The one cards go here. The scaffolding goes on top. The people go here. And then once I punch things, they'll go on top. Now, let's take a quick look at the first expansion. The rules are on the back. This just says, add three new types of inhabitants to the basic types. So there are new inhabitants that score new ways. Fair enough. The fisherman, who wants lots of cats, which is kind of odd. You'd think he'd want less. Um, I don't know what that person looks like. Mail delivery or a painter. And then we have new inhabitant notes for, yeah, it's a painter. I was right. So you have a fisherman, a painter, and I can't tell. It looks like a chimney sweep are the new three new types of people for your games of Walking and Burano, thankfully included in my copy. Ended up with one blank card, which we're going to toss right now. We're just going to put those people with the other people. Since these are half punched, I'm just going to lay them on top. What you get in Walking in Burano from AEG. So now I've opened it up. I've taken a look at my copy of Walking in Burano from AEG, a game all about building single colored, multicolored, like single colored buildings in an array of colors in the Burano district of Venice, Italy. This is a very attractive looking game with a very Zen theme. You are trying to make your uh, neighborhood as attractive as possible for tourists and people who work in the area. I can't think of very many games that have that peaceful and calm a theme. Artwork's great. Iconography is fantastic. Best thing in this box, though, the money. They managed to put out cardboard money and tokens that have a metallic coating that look like they're metal coins. Huge props for that AAG. Really impressed by that. So one to four player game. Walking in Burano. Looking forward to checking this one out. I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop, your cardboard concierge. Find me all over the internet as Tabletop Bellhop, one word. Visit our webpage, tabletopbellhop.com, and you can support us on Patreon at patreon.com slash tabletopbellhop. Now, the main thing we do at Tabletop Bellhop is answer your questions. So if you have a question for me, send it to questions at tabletopbellhop.com or go to that webpage and click on Ask the Bellhop. I think that's about it for self-promotion. I've recorded some other videos today, and I'm a little tired, and I'm looking forward to sitting down and actually playing some games instead of just opening new ones. So thank you for joining me today, especially those of you on Twitch who have been here for the whole thing. It's greatly appreciated. Everyone have a good night, and game on.